I think it's just continue to you know grow as a person and as a player on and off the ice. I think, like you said, it's obviously amazing to be able to win a Stanley Cup as a rookie, but you know it just makes you hungry for more. And I think I have so much more to give, so much more to grow. I think the thing I've loved most about Colorado is I think I've grown my game a little bit. Just being able to, you know, be a consistent, reliable guy who maybe can be thrown out there at the end of games to win a faceoff or stuff like that. Other than that, it's just continue to, you know, be a good person, be a good player, and you know, take it to me. I never really thought, you know, growing up that I would ever really make it to the NHL. It was always obviously a dream, but you know, for me, it was my inspiration was just, you know, my family, you know, making them proud, playing for them. And uh, my first game was pretty special. You know, I got called up, and I. I was fortunate enough to play at home and wasn't sure if my parents were going to be able to come, but they made the trip down just because Florida was pretty wide open at the time. From what I remember, it was just it was my second shift, you know, Victor Hedman wheeling around the net, kind of gift wrapped me a tap in in front. Holding on to the puck with Colorado, leads it for Hedman, who's going to cut in. Hedman all the way around, backhander, they score! What a goal! Victor Hedman leads the charge and the both score first one. I believe it's Colton who gets his first National Hockey League goal. I think he got his stick underneath. Watch 79 get in front. Victor Hedman threatened the goal short side, but he didn't. He did the wrap around, got the puck into the paint, and Ross Colton was ready. After that, I, again, I, I think I was just, you know, playing with the right guys in the right role, you know, knew that I was going to be on a contending team. So just whatever role I could fill, that was winning faceoffs, killing penalties stuff like that is kind of how they wanted me to approach every day so um, I remember I was playing with like Matthew Joseph and you know Pat Maroon you know two guys that have been in the league so just kind of wanted to be a sponge with you know him and the other guys in the locker room taking everything and uh, you know work every day trying to just get a little bit better. But the Chief comes in to help out, Chris shot on the way, that's knocked out, rebound, score! Brad Dalton finds the rebound! Packing goalies to his legacy, what timer! That whole playoff was pretty crazy because again we went from having no fans in the stands at all to you know sold out stadiums and then from what I can remember from that game just I think I want to say I scored early on in the second period and it was definitely the longest, you know, period of, period and a half of my life. Waiting in the wings. And it comes loose for McDonough. Ryan McDonough across. Here comes the chance of Brooks goes. It is the rookie, Ross Colton. Comes out in front. It is cleared. As time winds down here in Tampa, five seconds remaining, but retrieved by Petrie. Lightning strikes twice. The Tampa Bay Lightning win their second straight Stanley Cup. It is my honor to present you with the Stanley Cup. Yeah, it was just, it was a great group of guys, you know, again, I, I'm just fortunate enough. I think I was put in the right situation at the right time, um, playing with the right players, and I think it was pretty storybook that I think, uh, you know, I scored who wasn't on the team from the year prior, and David Savard passed it who, you know, also wasn't on the team prior. So we kind of got to help everyone out win their second one, which we always say is pretty cool. Obviously, you know, great playoff run, you know, I want to say there's the uh, Toronto series going seven games was unbelievable and same thing battling with Florida for a second year in a row. You know, then get to Colorado in the finals, obviously, you know, you see that lineup, just a bunch of guys who, you know, won a battle, won a win. It was obviously a good series, but it, it goes to show that, you know, when you have guys who want to buy in, want to buy into the culture, that, you know, that should be the standard every year.
you know, it, it's tough. It, it weighs over you because when, you know, when you're playing, you don't have a contract. If you go through a little bit of a slump or a lull, um, it definitely hangs over your head. So definitely were some sleepless nights, um, if I'm being honest. And, you know, I, I didn't know where I was going to go. There was a lot of talks with my agent of saying, you know, this team's interested, this team's interested. But, you know, technically I was still obviously with Tampa. And then um, just out of the blue, I was at the gym, saw the, you know, phone ring. and was the GM in Tampa saying, hey, uh, how's it going? I said, good. He said, okay, you, you, we trade you to Tampa, or, uh, Colorado. And I said, all right. And he said, thanks for everything. And that was pretty much it. And uh, was obviously super stoked to be coming here. I think it, again, similar situations, team with a great core of guys, great leaders who obviously want to win. So um, it's been awesome. And then one that we actually shared a little bit about this last week, uh, Logan O'Connor. You guys had a fight uh, in our series. Two fights. Irritated our O'Connor and Colton as they throw haymakers at each other. Yeah, can you just kind of tell us like what it's like, you know, hopping from that sort of, you know, enemies against each other on different teams, just playing really hard, to now like you guys are on the line together yeah. nearly every single night. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, again, when it happened, like it's, there was no bad blood. It's not like we like hated each other and, or, any, or he might hate me, I don't know, but, uh, it was just one of those things, I think we're both similar players where we just want to win, like we're competitors, hate to lose. So in the heat of the moment, you know, stuff like that's going to happen. And then um, the one story that always resonates with me is my buddy who I played uh, in uh, college with, played junior hockey with Logan. And, you know, the minute I got traded here, he said, watch, Logan will be one of the first guys to text you and you guys will probably be best buddies. And lo and behold, Lo Logan was one of the first guys to text me saying, hey, uh, can't wait to have you on, you know, my side now and um, let's get a beer and, you know, make up about it. And it was kind of one of the first things we did. And ever since I've been here, he's been awesome and kind of knew right away that we would mesh and especially on the ice, I think. We got Logan O'Connor and Ross Colton have dropped the glove. How do you guys feel about that name that they've been giving you guys lately? The the, the Roaring Twenties. Yeah, I, I, the first time I heard it was when uh, Katie was doing the uh, in between periods interview, and I mean, I, I guess I like it. it. Makes sense, you know. We all wear we all wear twenty. And we kind of try and fly around out there. So, um, putting me with you know Logan and Woody, I think that was kind of our mindset from day one. Is let's let's be that role that you know the difference maker. Because like I said, we have that top six of guys who obviously can score, obviously can play on the power play, but you need those other two lines to obviously step up. Love down by Wood. Out it comes. Colton trying to drag it in around Tucker. Well, Colton. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about this Roaring Twenties line. Yeah, they will forecheck, they will go hard. They will back check like crazy. Quick turnover, shot, score! Logan I think it just starts with the guys in the room, you know, you gotta believe. And I think that was, you know, obviously the mindset that we had and I could even sense that, you know, from day one since I've got, you know, been here. Um, it starts in training camp, it starts with the leaders and, you know, everyone's kind of just gotta buy into the process and say, okay, you know, it's a culture and it's a certain standard. We have a lot of new guys on the team. You know, there's definitely going to be some learning curves and some ups and downs, but for the most part now, we've been settled in and doing a really good job. And, you know, for the most part, I think, you know, setting that goal of let's kind of build that momentum leading up to the playoffs. I think it's just continue to, you know, grow as a person and as a player on and off the ice, I think. Like you said, it's obviously amazing to be able to win a Stanley Cup as a rookie, but, you know, it just makes you hungry for more. and. I think I have so much more to give, so much more to grow. Joe Wiggins there, good hit by Colton. Well, Colton, score! Sent ahead, Colton's down deep, and he's I think the thing I've loved most about Colorado is I think I've grown my game a little bit. Just being able to, you know, be a consistent, reliable guy who maybe can be thrown out there at the end of games to win a faceoff or stuff like that. Other than that, it's just continue to, you know, be a good person, be a good player, and, you know, be a good teammate.